As much as we all would want the world to be sunshine and rainbows, we are far from that. The world has been compromised by the devil for centuries now, but God protects us and guides us through all of this intervention. In today's day and age, the devil has constructed his puppets to deceive many. The devil's agenda is not something we should ignore. We need to be aware of everything so we won't be caught in his traps in any situation. The devil and his servants can attack in many ways and many times. The devil's agenda is to keep us in sin and have his puppets on earth help him with that. The puppets on earth can be role models and idols to many on earth and convince us that sinful acts are fine to do, like drinking and smoking. Matthew 16, 23, Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Satan will try to deceive many. He will offer you many things and he can promise you some things, but nothing compares to what God will give you. God gives us eternal life in paradise, while the devil offers temporary pleasure. God gives us wisdom to avoid the devil's agenda that is designed to destroy us believers. The devil disguises himself and has his servants walk as angels to deceive us all. 2 Corinthians 11, 14, 15 And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It is not surprising then if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness. Their end will be what their actions deserve. God does not waste your pain and suffering. Satan has an agenda, but so does God. And remember, greater is he in you than he who is in the world. Not only does God want to bring about restoration and healing during difficult circumstances, but he also wants to grow you. God's pathway to becoming spiritually mature and more Christ-like is through suffering. In other words, no pain, no gain. You might be going through a painful situation, but it will produce a great harvest if you allow it to deepen your dependency on Jesus. If you watched until the end, I would like to thank you and God bless your heart.